All right, ladies and gentlemen, Fabs in the house, and welcome back to the channel. Today I'm in the house with the Terrain 365 author here with me for a review. We're going to analyze the look, the sound, the feel of this bad boy, little bad boy. But don't forget to like, subscribe, leave me a comment down below. Check out fablades.com if you're in the business to buy some fidget toys or knives and... Uh, at Fablades on Instagram. See, if I'm posting some nice pictures, let me know. Just shoot me a message if you uh, want to connect. And uh, let's go ahead. Uh, this guy uh, comes with this uh, nylon uh, zippered pouch, uh, embroidered uh, logo right over here. You just open it up. It's not that padded. It's very, very thin. It comes with a uh, card. It comes with a microfiber cloth. And of course, you got the knife dual um, pockets on the inside. And then you get get uh, this uh, pretty cool thing right over here which has a compact size under three inches for the blade three inch long blade 2.8 cutting edge i would say handle is going to be a little bit less than four inches overall it's going to be a tad under uh seven inches i today i feel like just doing like a very quick size comparison i'm not in the mood uh, uh, for that so i'm just going to show you some small ones spider copara three that's the uh, Benchmade Mini Bug Out. Look at this. I'm not showing you any big stuff. Uh, this is the small Sabenta 31, 21, sorry. That is the Menandi. Look at this. And I'm going to show you like a custom Apache Pena. And that is it. Because today I'm not in the mood for size comparison. That's done. So uh, that is um, an interesting knife. Uh, there's a, a several variation of this one. You can get a slip joint. You can get the flipper. If you like, uh, um, uh, if you have like some restrictive laws, like for example, you cannot uh, have like a big one or like a locking knife, this is a non-locking knife. It is, um, um, the parts are sourced uh, uh, from uh, different countries. And without like tossing the knife around on the table, I can keep uh, going on and say that this is a pretty slick one. It's um, a gentleman's knife, like very clean, slick lines, cool design. It's clean, like look at the lines, very nicely made. Uh, it has titanium handles. So the weight is going to be uh, contained, uh, nicely chamfered on the inside, on the outside. There's no internal milling on the show side. On the clip side, you get a nested liner with the uh, second detent lock because this is a double detent non-locking flipper knife. Um, and um, I mean, very, very slick look for sure. Uh, the price depends. Uh, it's kind of like up there like i think in the 250 bucks range something in that ballpark so not properly a cheap one you have um like a slip joint option with no uh, clip option right there. You have the lanyard uh, loop, which is uh, right over here in between the backspacer. Um, there's, um, of course, like a blade is pretty centered, maybe favoring it. Uh, well, no, it's, it's all right. It's, it's good. And it's well protected. You're not going to be able to snag the tip. Um, also, very simple uh, disassembly video. You're going to need a T8 for the screws and you're pretty much done. It's super straightforward. You can also check out uh, my maintenance video about that. Uh, the screws are flush. The handle screws are flush with the scale and the uh, the pivot just sticking out a little bit, but nothing too crazy. Um, and uh, you get uh, a nice construction. I mean, uh, the titanium pocket clip is tip-up carry only. It's kind of like a deep carry option. You know, this much is going to be showing up. Uh, uh, from your pocket nice tension very well made in entrance and exiting ramps are are you know not too bad so it works in and out of the pocket pretty well um you cannot reverse the pocket clip on this side it's just gonna be like on this uh, uh uh, position right over there um, and then you get this blade which is pretty much the um, the highlight the, the peculiar aspect of this knife because as you can see from here it is a teravanthium uh, or teravanthium but it's latin so it's teravanthium um, steel which is like uh, very very interesting it's a um, uh, dendritic cobalt super alloy um, to they they produce they make in house to um, to make this kind of uh, of steel and uh, it is 100% uh, rust proof non magnetic there's no heat treat required for this kind of steel and it they are saying it's gonna hold an edge uh, like longer than uh, any 
regular, let's say, steel employed in this kind of uh, range for these knives. So uh, high performance, uh, low maintenance, uh, anti-rust, uh, anti-staining uh, steel. And be be because the fact this is like titanium, so this is like a stainless steel knife and uh, kind of rust proof. So if you live in a, a place where it's uh, illegal to have locking knives and uh, it's humid, like you are uh, living at the beach or you use that in the kitchen, <laughs> that's a cool option for sure. You have a little bit of jimping going on right over there, which is the continuation of the flipper tab right there. And it's, yeah, it's kind of functional, but as you can see, this is a non-locking uh, knife. So if you hold it like that and you just take advantage of the jimping, you're going to unlock the knife. So don't. So it's, see, it's very, very easy to just do that and just cut yourself. So don't do it. So just hold it back and just cut in this direction. I wouldn't stop anything with this because that's very prone to unlocking, even if it's not locking. And, um, and then you have a little bit of swedge right over here at the tip of the blade and a tiny belly, probably 20% and straight edge up to the sharpening choil. Um, this is a flat grind uh, uh, with a logo, right? Terrain 365 logo on this side, sterile looking uh, on the clip side. And um, you have a bead blast finish and a pretty cool plunge grind, I have to say. The sound that this guy makes is very low. It's not going to disturb anyone. You just pull this guy out and you go like this and, and people are not going to be uh, frowning upon you and they're just going to yeah, look like a, this looks like a nice gentleman's knife. It's not menacing. It's not intimidating. And the sound, it's a nice, uh, nice tinkle. A little thud when you close it, just like <laughs> nothing is going to even notice. Also, what is pretty cool is the weight because in the pocket, this guy's going to be, I think, around three something ounces. 3.05 so it's it's pretty well contained it's a small one so you're not gonna feel that much this guy in the pocket and it doesn't really have any hot spots it's like very stick looking very it's it's all right i mean the, the grip is not phenomenal i would say but uh, it, it's good like for light tasks it's fine there's um, no flex pretty solid a little bit of on the slippery side but uh, the finish of this titanium is pretty good i kind of like the the feel that the touch feel uh, even if it's a little bit slippery but fit and finish is spot on nice uh, uh everything is pretty much aligned uh, look at this i mean that's well put together there is a, um, a, a tiny bit of blade play. Maybe I just need to tighten this up. But uh, for uh, this, of course, runs on um, bearings. But, um, you know, this will probably never have like a, a great action because the, the configuration, because the, the how it's made. So you see just a little wiggle. It's going to close. I mean, it's, it's not great uh, in the, the, the action. It doesn't feel great because, I don't know, it's just probably the nature of the locking mechanism and the uh, blade uh, uh, weight and size and the bearings, but it, the, the action is not stellar. I mean, it, it flies open, yeah. It closes like with a little nudge, but I don't know. There's something off a little bit. I am very spoiled, guys. So, you know, just take my words with a grain of salt uh, when I say that the action is not great. It's nice, but, you know, when you're used to... Uh, higher end stuff yeah you know i'm starting nitpicking but don't worry it's still good um also uh, what i want to say the detent is nice actually the this it's nice it's snappy it's a pleasant feel in the hand but just the closing action the fact that you have to use two hands of course i mean you can kind of do like this with one hand but you're gonna be probably doing like that like treat this as a slip joint and then just close it uh, or like that and like that but it's not really, I don't really see the point, right? To do this, wait, and then like that. Either you just unlock it with one hand or you just go like that. So that is pretty much it, guys. It's uh, it's a pretty cool one, very interesting. It's a nice addition. I like the fact that they are developing uh, new steel. I really love the clean look of this fella. Nice and sleek. Uh, and I, I like the fact that it's compact, it's legal and absolutely rust-proof. So there you have it. Hope you guys really enjoyed this video and thanks for watching. Stay tuned.